I like this game. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. Well, if you're spending more time at home and you want to try to keep the kids busy and maybe add some more fun to family game night, how about this? Yes, what you can do is use nice sauce, by the way, here, catch, is use some of the stuff that you may actually throw away, turn it into some fun little games you can either play outside or inside, and half the fun is going to be constructing all of these crafts. And the crafting queen herself, the aficionado of activities, Adina Anderson <laughs> from Creative Lifestyles with Adina shows us a few fun games. Well, nowadays everybody has a whole bunch of these, the Amazon boxes, <laughs> and instead of just, you know, throwing them out or collecting them somewhere else, um, what'd you do with this one, Adina? Well, this is a fun game you can play in the backyard. You just cut some holes in there, paint it. It's really simple. You just use your acrylic paint. I like the deck art, but you can use any acrylic paint that you have. Yeah. And then you're, you're just going to kind of outline it. So this is kind of a golf game that you can play okay. in the backyard, or if it's bad outside you could even play this inside if you have the little plastic ones because you won't break anything with those mm -hmm. and then just let the kids have fun with this right but i think this is something the adults would like to do too <laughs> these acrylic paints are basically good for anything for cardboard anything. plastic yeah. wood metal need, however whatever, your craft whatever. Is. that's the box that this is we... what we finish off with right. so we'll see how good of a putter you are Woo! Ten. Ten points. okay i like that <laughs> okay this next one's really fun. You want to know why? Because you can eat it Yay! after you make it. <laughs> yes. And we're going to use something that you usually put ice cream in, mm -hmm. but that's going to melt in this heat, right? So True. why not make something fun with it? <laughs> I love how you use Starburst. I know. Well, I used to do a lot of golf tournaments and things, and that was the one treat I would give out because they don't melt in the sun for some reason. So it was a really easy one that we know won't melt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we need? Okay, so you want to have your ice cream cones, and you could use any kind you want, and then you want your chocolate. So you could use regular chocolate or white chocolate. I have white chocolate here. And if you don't have the melting pot, the Wilton melting pot, you can pop it in the microwave or do a double broiler, however you want. And then you just kind of dip it in there, get it all covered, and then just use whatever sprinkles you have. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It could be any holiday, right? Right. <laughs> it's summer. And then all you're going to do is just roll it in here once you get it covered. Uh, ha, 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 ha. The fun part, right? Uh, ha, ha, and then really ha, ha. fill it with whatever candy. Look how simple that is. Oh my gosh, and it looks so yummy. Right? Yum. <laughs> oh, and the chocolate's still warm. Oh, yes. That's bonus. <laughs> If you're outside in the summertime, lots and lots of water, and don't throw the bottles away. You can either refill them or use them for another. You know, craft. I don't throw anything away. No, it's cool. so bad. Me Cans, neither. bottles, whatever. <laughs> so what are we doing with the empties? So this is a fun little bowling game you can play outside or even inside yeah. because it's plastic, and you want to take the little label off there of your water bottle. So just okay. rip that off. And then you're gonna use the acrylic paint again. So you're gonna put about one or two coats on and it dries pretty quick, especially in the heat like this. It'll probably already start drying by the time you're getting one done there. Oh, okay. And then I just took the red and put it out the top so it looks like bowling pins. So you're mm -hmm. gonna paint the top of it and paint the whole thing. Sure. And I put rocks in the bottom just to kind of hold them up. Apparently it's a little windier today, but. <laughs> well, you don't want too much because you want to be able to have it to knock tip them down. over a little right. bit. That's right, yes. Not <laughs> enough so. Okay, so that would dry and you said and just you a wiffle ball? Up. Yep, and I just used a wiffle ball or whatever you have around the house. Oh, hey, I got it! <laughs> Thank you to the wind, and that's the benefit of bowling with water bottles outside. A special thank you to Aunt Sarah Winton Chevrolet for, for sponsoring our big adventures every month. Check out their website, AntSarahChev.com.